Here, we'll look at how non-metal atoms form ions. The nucleus we've shown here is the nucleus of a fluorine atom. The box for fluorine on the periodic table is shown on the left side of the video here. Fluorine has an atomic number of 9, which means the nucleus of a fluorine atom has 9 protons. Almost all fluorine atoms have 10 neutrons in their nucleus. The number of neutrons does not change when an atom becomes an ion, and neutrons have no effect on charge. Because protons all have a positive 1 charge, we'll replace the p's with positive charges in this diagram. So the nucleus of a fluorine atom has 9 positively charged protons. Therefore, it has a total charge of positive 9. Electrons have a negative charge, so a neutral atom of fluorine must have 9 electrons to balance the positive 9 charge on the nucleus. Here we'll use the Bohr model of the atom, where electrons occupy shells around the nucleus. The first shell has two electrons, the maximum number it can hold. A fluorine atom has a total of nine electrons, so the second shell has a total of seven electrons. The nucleus has nine protons and ten neutrons. Instead of a picture, this is usually simplified by showing a circle with 9p and 10n. So this is how we represent a neutral fluorine atom. We see that in a fluorine atom, the second shell has only 7 electrons, and it can hold 8. So the second shell is not filled. Therefore, this atom is unstable. In order to fill up the second shell and become stable, a fluorine atom must gain one electron, right here. It now has 9 protons and 10 electrons so it can no longer be called a fluorine atom. It is now called a fluoride ion. Notice the name of this ion ends in IDE. Names of negative ions of non-metals are always changed so they end in IDE. This ion is stable. Because it has 10 electrons, it has the same electron arrangement as the noble gas neon, with completely filled first and second shells. A fluoride ion has a total of 9 protons and 2 plus 8, or 10, electrons. 9 protons means it has 9 positive charges. And 10 electrons means it has 10 negative charges. Positive and negative charges neutralize each other, and what is left over is called the net charge, which is negative 1 in this case. So we can say that the net charge on this ion is negative 1, or 1 negative. This is usually expressed simply as negative. In the box on the periodic table, the top right-hand corner shows the charge on the most common ion of fluorine. We see it is minus 1, which is the same as the minus 1 charge shown here for our fluoride ion. Looking on the periodic table, we see that group 17 nonmetals, or halogens, all gain one electron to form an ion with a negative 1 charge. The top four group 16 nonmetals all gain two electrons to form an ion with a negative 2 charge. And the top three group 15 nonmetals all gain three electrons to form an ion with a negative 3 charge. In general, nonmetal atoms gain electrons in order to form stable negative ions. <laughs>